book of that. Um, this is technically part two. I haven't really finished the room, but we're like halfway through, as in we got most of the stuff out. All the boxes have been put into the closet. Um, we took down my desk because we're going to fix it and make it look a lot better. And then I decided, which was actually my niece's idea, to repaint the mini crib. So all the furniture in here can match because as of right now, I have a white desk. I have this mahogany, I think that's the color or whatever, um, crib. And then we plan on getting a dresser in here. And with the dresser, we were just going to go to the Opportunity House, which is like a thrift store for furniture out here and just pick up a dress from there and a dress, a dresser from there and just fix it up that way. But yeah, um, we started on this Saturday morning. It is now Sunday, or was it Friday? I think it was Friday we started on it. Yeah, Friday we started on it before we went up to visit Tim's family and we've been working on it all weekend and we've been taking quite long like breaks during this time, but yeah, this is, this is what I've become now. Um, I was trying to fix this up to where I could actually have it, so maybe I can do this one. This is what I did because I don't have any of the whatchamacallit stuff. <sighs> there we go. So we had sandpaper, we had all of that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to sand this down so it's not super shiny because anywhere where it's gonna be really shiny, um, the paint's gonna peel once I put it on. So I have to buff it out. But once that's done, and then my niece is gonna come in and help. But I forgot to grab the little stuff to protect my carpet, but Luckily we remembered, we have pee pads for our dogs. Specifically for our buttons. Come here buttons, come here. She's mad at me because I put her in the crib. So she wants to leave. There she is. Buttons, are you mad at me? Come here buttons. Yeah, she's mad. She usually wags her tail and comes running. No, she's upset with me. But so, you can guys can kind of see how upset with me yeah yeah I know but you guys can kind of see how the room looks now just a little bit not a whole lot I know this is in the way but so I'm gonna be working on this during this time so yeah once again this is part two of this room and it's not completely done because we got something we have going on with my backdrop that you saw that Tim's actually going to do I just realized you guys can't see me but that's fine because I look a mess. But um, we have something that we're gonna do with my little backdrop that Tim thought of and it's gonna be super cool and I'm really excited about. So yeah, but this is part two of fixing our room up and getting it ready. So yeah. <laughs> took a damp cloth and wiped it down so that way I don't have any of the dust on it but there's still a little bit in places but that's fine because sorry I got distracted but yeah so next step is first coat of paint which my niece is gonna help me out slightly with that. I might show her how to do it and let her do like this part here and then I'll do the rest. But yeah, the color we got was like antique white and I figured that would work because we want that whole, I guess you could say rustic. I don't fully know, but it actually might match the color in here a little too much now that I'm looking. 
but if it does it's fine because I saw that you can go over it with like this gray chalk paint and it looks really cool but I don't have that stuff yet not the chalk paint I have the paint yeah but anyway I'm gonna get to that so see you guys soon which is pretty cool but I really hope I don't regret doing this this makes me nervous side of it not thinking oh you're gonna have to paint the inside too so for the most part on this side it's pretty much dry eh, to a point but I don't care about the clothes that I'm wearing getting dirty so I figured I could just paint the inside real quick and yeah chit chat with you guys for a little bit 